Louisa Poster and Flash Bam Alakazam. A tribute to Petty Hutton. to share my love for the one and only original blonde bombshell, Betty Hutton! Yay! You know how she got her start? No. <laughs> I <didn't tell> you. <laughs> that was a plant. <laughs> Singing in one of those 1920s speakeasies. Yeah. Only this speakeasy was in her mother's living room. Betty was three years old. And then he'd row, row, row. Way up the river he would row, row, row. A hug you'd give her, then you'd kiss her now and then. She would tell them what to do. They'd fool around and fool around and then they'd kiss again. And then he'd row, row, row. We'd just grant a joint on a small scale. We'd operate until the cops got wise. And then we'd move someplace else. I used to entertain the customers by singing and dancing. Things were very rough. One time, we were down to one can of beans. When I mentioned to my mother that I wanted to be a star, she thought I was nuts. But I thought, if I could become a star and get us out of poverty, my mother would stop drinking. Everybody knows there's no such thing as a free lunch. And Vincent Lopez made it clear exactly how he expected Betty to show her gratitude. She hated him for it. She hated him for it, but she couldn't afford to argue. And besides, she was too busy wowing the crowds at Billy Rose's Casa Mañana. You better listen and try to be good. Try to do all the things that you should. The dipsy doodle who will get you someday. You think you're crazy, the things that you say like a rhythm that I oh hide in my That's the way the dipsy doodle works. 1942. The fleet's in. Son. 
sun and the moon and the moon at night. Boy, you could say, vitamin pill on legs. That's what Bob Hope called her. <laughs> Betty Huddle actually learned how to fly on the trapeze well enough to do her own stunts in the greatest show on earth. I was going to show you, but um, <laughs> the ceiling is too low. <laughs> Betty was on top. Now, <clears throat> the studio was already good and mad at Betty for demanding better parts for herself. But when she demanded to have her husband direct her next picture, that was it. Paramount balked, and Betty walked right out of her contract, right out of her career. I had been crucified, crucified in this business. When I only gave out love, I bought houses, Cadillacs, furs. I bought everything for people. But when the money was gone, everybody split. Nobody knows you when you're down. to think that maybe her mother was right when her mother would say behind every dark cloud there's an even darker cloud <laughs> <laughs> Marisa Parker.